welcome back to my channel today I decided I was gonna do a little bit more of a natural look so I just decided to just film it and see how it went um, but this is what I ended up with and if you want to see how I did this look today just go ahead and keep on watching oh and before I forget because I always forget to say this at the beginning of my videos subscribe to my channel like that would be great if you could do that okay so first I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face using the master prime by Maybelline Next, I'm going to be combining the Stream Velvet in with the LA Girl um, Pro Coverage Foundation because, and white because this is like just a little bit too dark for me. And since this is like an everyday kind of thing, like I'll just get like a huge dollop in my hand and then just get like a little bit of white and then I'll just kind of, then we'll just start to put it all over my face. Don't worry, we're gonna blend this out. Probably a good idea to also keep a makeup wipe next to you if you're gonna be using your fingers to apply foundation. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques um, Fuller foundation brush and just kinda make sure everything's all blended in. And then next I'm going to use my Age Rewind by Maybelline and uh, I guess this is the lightest shade they have right now. I probably could use a little bit of a lighter one, but we're going to have to wait and let that kind of go to the top. So I guess while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows since for whatever reason that concealer takes forever. So I'm just going to kind of comb my brows up and get them into the shape that I want and then I'm just gonna like lightly fill them in and to do that I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Brow Power I guess that was upside down huh sorry on days where I want like more natural looking makeup I'll do a little bit darker on the tail and then like hardly even touch the front after I'm done filling them in, I'm just going to get that same brush and just kind of comb it through to kind of mend everything together. Okay, let's see if this concealer is done. And I just like to highlight just in the middle of my face too. Even though this is probably like just a hair lighter than my foundation that I'm wearing today. And I'm just going to use that same brush. I put concealer on top of my eyes instead of like an eyeshadow primer. Okay, now I'm going to use some Cody Airspun. And this is just in the shade Naturally Neutral, which is a really, really fair shade. Um, just because I think I want to get a little more coverage with this powder instead of using the translucent one since it doesn't really give me too much coverage. I'm just going to use that with a sponge. This is a Morphe like contour sponge or something. I really just set the places where I get wrinkle lines. Wrinkle line sounds bad so like creasing. And I'm not being really like, I'm being kind of sloppy with it because I don't really care, I guess. I'm going to brush it all anyway off my face. Now I'm just going to grab like a big brush and just kind of brush it all around. Alright, and now that I look like a pasty white ghost, I'm going to go ahead and try to bronze it up. And I would much rather bronze rather than use contour when I'm just going for a more natural look. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to be using um, my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which is my favorite. Um, just in the shade Bronza. And we're just going to bronze kind of like the outer part of the face. And I do under my chin because I feel like I have a double chin and I want to not. Okay, next I'm just going to use a kind of like a sheer blush. This is the Wet n Wild Ombre blush. It doesn't really show up too much on me, but that's what I like. 
Okay, next I'm gonna use the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the color Flexitarian. And I'm just gonna use just a, like a highlighting brush and just highlight the high points. As I'm highlighting my nose, I realized that I didn't add any bronzer to my nose, which I typically like doing, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, I really feel like I'm almost done with this. I just need to do eyes and lips, and eyes are gonna be hella simple today. I'm just gonna be using my Pure Soiree Diaries. Just this really simple eyeshadow palette. All right, and I'm just gonna be using like a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna dip into this shade all right here. And I'm just gonna put that like as a transition shade, kinda really lightly all over the crease. Next, I'm gonna grab a slightly less fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And I'm gonna keep going in the crease but stay like just a little bit lower. And I'm gonna try not to like put my eye eyebrows up because I feel like if you put color in your crease while your eyes are lifted and then you go down, it's like completely hidden when your eyes are open still. So I'm gonna try to just put it right in my crease but not lift my eyebrow. I'm just gonna be going into here, this one. Um, and like normally when I use these shimmers, if I'm wanting like a little bit more of a bold look, I will, I will wet the brush after I've already gotten the eyeshadow on the brush, but I really want this to be more natural and subtle. So I'm just going to put my eyeshadow in there, put my brush in there, and then apply it to my eye. Because like, What's natural about shimmer? Everything. I feel like if you were to cut me open, I would have glitter. I love glitter. I'm just gonna grab a smaller brush and I'm basically just gonna grab the two shades that I used in the, in the crease. So we're gonna do this one again. And this one's just like a small brush and I'm just gonna go under here just a little bit. Okay, I'm go back into this shade. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm not gonna be doing eyeliner because what's natural about eyeliner? And today I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Volumin Voluminous Original. And we're just gonna be really careful to not get that on the top lid, which I found if you, see, I don't know if y'all can tell, I'm using this mirror and um, I'm gonna tilt it till I can like look down and get my lashes without touching the lid. That's what I like about these. I just got one of these mirrors maybe like two months ago and I'm like, why, why am I just now getting this? So if you don't have one of these mirrors, I really suggest getting one. And I'm just gonna do two coats on the top and then one coat on the bottom lashes. And then bottom. All right, and then for lips, I'm just going to use this, I swear this is like, I feel like this is my lip color, but better. Um, this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the, in the shade Seductress. It's very, very pretty. And I like these on days where I guess I'm wanting to do a little bit more natural because I don't wanna have to worry about reapplying and reapplying and so this literally just stays like all day and lastly I'm just going to spray my face with some setting spray the natural finish a uh, setting spray photo focus by wet n wild so yeah guys this is how I do my makeup when I want to do a little bit more of a natural look I really wish I could just be like natural in front of the camera and I feel like I get a little goofy, which maybe is a good thing, but like, <sighs> but anyway, if you like this weirdness, this is the, um, the thing to do, I guess. And, um, I guess if you want to see more, you could subscribe to my channel, which would be cool, I guess. Mm -hmm.